we are testing the Atoms unit with a 200 nanometer light source. Let me explain. 200 nanometers is off to the left here. It is UVC and no one should actually spend much time in this light. What it's good for is very small particles because the wavelength is very small, 200 nanometers. We have a nice annular ring well centered and the camera picks up the UV light better than the human eye. We have our candle ready. Let's start testing. I'm using the lid that I use with the incense for continuity. However, I'm thinking it's not the best. We're at the end of the candle, so I'm going to blow it out and let's take a look at what the smoke looks like in the UV light. Try to understand that most of the light coming out of this light source and the beam of light that you see is outside the range of the camera and the human eye. Please don't look into a UV light. Let's get on to our charts. The opacity has baseline, candle, and incense. The UV light's a lot different than, let's say, the 900 light. Um, it drifts quite a bit. However, it does pick up small particles better than the longer wavelengths. This is a pretty good graph. It still has color shift, and that's kind of strange for a, such a high-frequency light. Let's see what we can look at. This chart shows me there's still a red shift at this frequency of light with almost no red light that we can see from the light, it still gets through the smoke. This chart's a little difficult to understand. However, all the lines in the bottom add up to the line on the top. You can see there's a significant amount of blue light, a little green light, a little red light. That's what 200 nanometers is. However, it all comes through the clear sensor, 